this is why I'm really here because I'm I'm the YouTube voice for our veterans who are getting disrespected and our service members who are being disrespected by criminal trash. You would know that if you ever served anybody else besides yourself, you freaking criminal. You know, hey, what do I know? I'm only a disabled veteran. I've only served my country. You expect the country to serve you. I was suspected, investigated, indicted, arrested, and charges were dismissed. The only other thing that I didn't do that was brought out was the stolen valor. I don't have a purple heart. I didn't retire. I was medically boarded out after enough to earn myself two purple hearts and three tours. So I don't have a purple heart. Because he's a patriot. He is one of my brothers. Soldiers, sailors, Marines, airmen, and Coast Guard, airmen and seamen, we all took an oath. All right. We are here to protect democracy. We're not here to practice it. We're here to kick the shit out of countries and terrorists that want to come play with us. And you would know that if you had ever served. But you thought it'd be a better idea to be a criminal and do drugs and go to prison. The, the true measure of one's personal courage and bravery is not not being afraid. There is nothing wrong with being afraid. Being afraid of catching a damn round in your head, being blown up, being captured and tortured to death by the enemy are perfectly reasonable, normal, plausible fears. What separates us from assholes like this is that me and my brothers and sisters, we recognize those fears. We put them on the shelf and we do our job anyway. I've had nine surgeries, two gunshot wounds, and I still have frag next to my spine. I don't have a purple heart. I didn't retire. I was medically boarded out after enough to earn myself two purple hearts and three tours. So I don't have a purple heart. The last tour. And I had broke my leg. Uh, we took an RPG round of the grill, and that took us from doing about 70 miles an hour to nothing in less than a second. And the warhead just absolutely smashed the engine back. You know, it snapped the transmission from the damn drive shaft. It pushed the entire engine and transmission back about eight inches. And when it did that, it knocked the damn firewall in. Uh, I broke my leg a half inch under the knee. And I didn't know about it for three weeks. It what I, I got to see a... Uh, a uh, wasn't a doctor. It was some other. It was like a doctor light, and a doctor light. Yeah, it was a physical something, but not therapist or anything like that. But he uh, he told me I sprained my MCL, and to just wrap it up, and that and that was that. About three weeks later, I was we were off of, off of a uh, rotation, and I think I know that guy. I think I think I know the guy that you're talking about. He's the same guy. That they used to fix the cars in East LA, they call him Mickey Mouse. Uh, I'm just glad that I never saw that individual again because about two, 20 days later, and now keep in mind, I didn't know I had a broken leg. So everything else was just, I was on that broken leg for three weeks in full battle rattle. And day one wow. of our, my two day rotation off, I was going to get a shower and I was in a damn pair of PT shorts and first sergeant saw it. And he called me over there, and I started to limp to him. And he went, nope, nope, Sergeant, you, Sergeant, you stay there. You, yes, top. And he come over, took one look at my leg, and said, get your smart ass. We got the first sergeant, and I don't know. I know, Jerry, we talked. You haven't, but I don't remember if you, you spent any time in the military corrections. But, you know, when you're, when, when you're a staff sergeant and your first sergeant tells you go do something, you go do it, and you jump, snap, shit, and do it. In my case, I wasn't right. jumping. You know, I went ahead, and I limped on back to the med shed, and they x-rayed it and came back in with a damn pair of crutches. I'm like, right, bro. So, yeah. Yeah. It, 
did that three weeks, it and it was a diagonal break on my on my tibia, half inch under the knee joint, diagonally all the way across, and then I had a linear fracture. Now that runs <laughs> along your bone. That one was like six inches long and almost a quarter inch wide. Well, they put a plate and nine screws 